Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chris. For those who don't know me, I'm a dermatology trainee currently based in Glasgow in the UK. And on this channel, I share my life experiences working in dermatology and life in general in the UK. In this video, I'm going to share my thoughts on some of the causes out there for people wanting to get into dermatology in the UK. Now, there aren't many dermatology causes for the medical students and junior doctors in the UK, but for the ones that are currently available, I'm going to share my thoughts and insights as to whether they are worth going. So just a point to note, these are all my personal opinions regarding the causes I've been to, and so it might not be generalized to everybody. The opinions that I'm about to give for these causes will be based solely on whether they are beneficial for the dermatology applications. I'm going to quantify how good these causes are by scoring them out of five. So first up is the ever popular dermatology course called Derm School, which is organized by the BAD each year. In Derm School, you get a series of talks on common dermatological presentations, medical dermatology and other subspecialties such as dermatology of skin of color and pediatric dermatology. You also get the chance to do some practical workshops um, in dermatology surgery, cryotherapy and cautery. Derm School is actually quite a nice social event because you get to hang out with other delegates, registrars and consultants and they have this um, nice social evening event after the course for you to hang out more and have dinner. There is often a careers panel at the end of the course so you can ask any questions you have regards to applying to dermatology. The other thing about Derm School is that it provides opportunities for medical students and junior doctors to submit abstracts for poster presentations and you can actually use that um, to score points for your CV. So for Derm School, I would actually rate this 3 out of 5. It is good for people who have no experience in dermatology and want to get a basic understanding of what a dermatologist does and the different dermatological presentations you see uh, in dermatology. However, it can be quite repetitive at times and so I probably wouldn't recommend going more than once uh, and it's probably not as useful for um, trainees who have had some dermatology experience. So the next course is the DermDoc course, which essentially is a one-day medical dermatology course organized by the BSMD. And this is specifically catered for junior doctors like foundation years doctors and internal medical trainees. The aim of this course is essentially to improve knowledge on managing common dermatological conditions seen on the wards, as well as skin signs associated with systemic diseases. Similar to Derm School, there is a session on career advice and how to get into dermatology. The topics discussed in Derm Doc is probably more advanced than those discussed in Derm School. So you get to listen to a range of interesting talks such as the drugs that they use in medical dermatology, emergency dermatology and drug rashes. The unique thing about Derm Doc is that they often break you up into small groups where you are provided with uh, clinical uh, information, some photographs. You will then be asked to describe what you see and come up with an appropriate management plan and differential diagnosis. This is quite useful when it comes to practicing whatever dermatology knowledge you have because they don't really do that uh, on the wards or even in medical school. There is also an opportunity for you to submit abstracts either as a poster or even oral presentation. So I would actually rate this a 4 out of 5. The reason why I give this a high mark is because of the small group setting where you are given the opportunity to present cases and come up with differential diagnosis and management plan. However, I think it can be quite daunting for anyone with no dermatology experience being asked to present in front of the whole group. So this is something to actually bear in mind. Next up is an annual course held in St. John's called A Day in St. John's. So this is a one-day course where it goes through a similar format with lectures and talks on various dermatology topics. One selling point about this course is that you get to see the MDT experience in St. John's, which is one of the world's most renowned dermatology institutes. I also remember from my experience going there that there is a good talk on what to do if you don't get a training number. So in terms of rating, I'll rate this a 3 out of 5. The next course is a surgical course organized by the BSDS called Stitch Up. This is a one-day surgical course where you can get to practice uh, your surgical skills on pig skin, uh, supervised by dermatologists such as most surgeons, um, and you get to experience a wide range of suturing techniques. You also get the opportunity to speak to most surgeons who are dermatology surgical specialists about a career in skin surgery. This is actually a very good surgical workshop for anyone starting out in dermatology surgery. But I would actually rate this a 2 out of 5 simply because it is probably not as relevant when it comes to 
applying to dermatology and actually a lot of uh, non-dermatology trainees, they don't really get to practice what they've learned from the surgical workshop. The next course is the annual Dermsoc Day, which is organized by the National Dermatological Society. In this one day course, you get a range of speakers from medical students, junior doctors, dermatology trainees, and even the consultants themselves. There is often a good variety of topics for the day, and actually some of the topics look very interesting. Similar to other courses like Derm School, it allows medical students and trainees to get an idea of what dermatology is, and also get to mingle with um, dermatology registrars and consultants afterwards. Again, I would rate Dermsoc Day a 3 out of 5 because whilst it is interesting to know about the different subspecialties for dermatology, when it comes to applying for the interview itself, I'm actually not very sure how useful this knowledge would be uh, for the clinical station, for example. The last course is the annual BAD conference, which is the biggest dermatology conference held by the BAD every year in the UK. This is a three to four day conference where you get a whole lot of information and updated research on various aspects of dermatology. It is highly relevant for dermatology trainees and consultants because it keeps them abreast of the latest development in this field. However, when it comes to applying for dermatology, I probably would rate this a two out of five just because it is probably not as relevant as the other causes when it comes to applying for the interview. That is not to say you shouldn't go for these conferences, but I recognize that they can be quite expensive to go to and you have to take time off work, which can be quite an issue as well. I would, however, recommend going for it if you have an abstract to present either as a poster or a presentation. Thank you for watching this video where I share my thoughts and opinions on dermatology courses for people wanting to apply to dermatology. Again, I have to emphasize that these are purely my own opinions and may not apply to everyone. Also, the rating I'm giving for these courses and conferences are based on whether I find them useful when it comes to dermatology interviews. Thank you for watching once again and see you next time. Bye-bye.